Hey, my name is Chris. I'm really excited that you're checking out this site to learn all about what is coaching and how you earn an income, what exactly we do, perks, benefits, um, the type of work that's involved, all the things that is going to be tucked into a few short videos. So cruise through this website, take your time, but take everything in. Come into this with an open mind is the only thing that I'm asking of you. And this first video, I just want to take a few minutes to share a bit about me so we can connect on maybe a more personal level and maybe you can relate to a thing or two I have to say. So my name is Chris. I have been a beach body coach, team beach body coach for Almost five years. I started in the end of June of 2015, and it feels like years ago, which it was. And at the same time, it feels like yesterday. Like I still feel like I'm just getting started with this. So throughout the last almost five years, I've grown a ton. I've grown a baby. I've birthed a baby. Um, I've purchased a few residential properties, income properties. I'm currently growing a second baby. I'm currently 13 weeks pregnant at the time of this recording, which is May, 2020. So been through a lot of life changes, ups and downs, highs and lows. And I went through this entire process of life as we all go through those ups and downs as a coach. You know, I haven't taken a step back from my business at any point. I haven't let pregnancy or postpartum or anything hold me back from sharing my journey, showing up on social media and encouraging others to live their best life. That is really ultimately what I want to do with this. So let's rewind a little bit to five years ago, how I got started, because you might see me now, you know, where the chapter that I'm in right now and feel like you can't really relate to that, but we all have a chapter one, a day one, a blank page, fresh start that we can all can take advantage of and choose to make a change. So five years ago, I started this and I can honestly say it has changed my life in every way. It has given me a way to share my passion in health and fitness. It's provided me extra motivation and accountability to get in great shape, um, both before my baby and then after my son and now my healthy pregnancy right now. It's given me an opportunity to travel for free. It's even allowed me to quit the full-time job that I had when I started so I could come home, work for myself, and then after my I had my son, I'm able to be home with him. But it's nice because I still have something for me. And I created this business all from home before and after my full-time job back when I was working and then after my son pretty much in between nap schedules and quiet early mornings so in many ways I've created what I set out to what I set out to do my dream life but it wasn't always like this when I first started my business uh, without going into a ton of detail I was this burnt out sales executive I kind of dreaded Mondays. I lived for the weekends, you know, counting down till Friday. I mean, life was mostly good. I had, I had this wonderful family, great friends. I live in beautiful San Diego. I was making great money, but I just felt like something was missing. And I was missing that feeling of purpose and passion about what I was doing and kind of just going through the motions Monday through Friday. And I felt very lost. I didn't know what I could do to change things but I did know that I wanted something more. And then I did something um, kind of out of character for me. I signed up for this online boot camp, and I remember it like it was yesterday. I was sitting on the couch, I was crying, I had just called off my second engagement, and I was scrolling Facebook and I saw a post, post from this total stranger about this online boot camp. And I just thought, you know what? I think this could be a positive distraction in my life right now, kind of as I get through this breakup. So I signed up and I went through this online group with my coach and I'll tell you more about it later, but everything changed for me. You know, up until this point, I had been kind of doing things on my own with the help of the internet. Um, you know, I was working out at this really expensive boxing gym um, doing these really intense workouts, you know, that's kind of what I have always been drawn to. I've done CrossFit in the past and, you know, any kind of workout, I feel like I've done them all. I was trying to eat clean, you know, all week long, low fat, watch my calories, but constantly kind of feeling like a failure. 
I would restrict myself during the week and that would last maybe to like Thursday when I, you know, mess up and then I just throw in the towel and say, well, I guess I'm starting over Monday, you know, anyways. And then, you know, just kind of feeling like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I stick to this? Why am I struggling so bad? Why can't I get these results that I felt like I deserved so much? And I was just kind of relying on um, the fact that I had these really intense workouts, hoping that that would kind of make up for my nutrition that I just could not seem to figure out. So I'm over exercising, I'm under eating, which is very restricting, restrictive, which is then actually leading to binge eating, also binge drinking. And I have like this 10 pounds right around the midsection that I just couldn't get rid of no matter how hard I felt like I was trying. But when I was in this group with the support that I had from the other women and the coach and the accountability that I was getting from that, I was able to keep promises to myself. I started to see real results finally. I felt empowered, my confidence was growing, um, and you know, I was working out less. I was working out from home now, which to be honest, I kind of doubted that they would even work. I followed the meal plan that was given, which was more about adding more fat actually, and instead of low fat and a little more balanced. I doubted that too. I was like, yeah, right. What could she tell me about nutrition that I haven't tried? Uh, then I also added in this nutrient dense shake. And again, I still didn't have the best attitude. I was like, oh, I've tried every vegan shake there is. They all taste like chalk. Well, this probably can't be any worse, right? But I started drinking it anyways. Um, but you know, the biggest change that happened, I think, was the shift in my mindset that my coach really started to help me with. I finally started to recognize this all or nothing mindset, which was just really keeping me stuck and sabotaging any and all progress that I was making. And when I started hitting my goals in my health and fitness and keeping promises to myself, it had this ripple effect in other areas of my life. And I just started to feel like just so confident. I wanted to share what I was doing with other people, just kind of say how I was feeling with other people. And what I learned since, since starting my own business is that you'll never get where you want unless you are willing to take some risks and get a little bit comfortable being uncomfortable. I wanna say that again because it is really important, especially in the beginning of the business. You do some things that feel a little uncomfortable at first, you know, like sharing on social media. Um, you know, most of us aren't sharing, you know, our fitness and health journey and our life, if we're on one, um, on our social media, you know? Most of us aren't used to doing that. I know for me, the majority of the stuff that I used to share on social media was, you know, like maybe vacation photos or photos of me being silly, stupid, drunk stuff on the weekends. So using my social media in this way was new and a little bit awkward at first, but it's definitely been worth it. So you've gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable sometimes. But anyways, so fast forward, I became a coach so that I could share what I was doing with others and I could help them feel as awesome as I was feeling. You know, I wasn't 100% sure what I was doing, to be honest, when I first started. I just knew I felt great and I was gonna help people feel as great as I felt. And I just thought, well, if my coach could help me, then I could take what I've learned and help other people too. And I just thought, you know, maybe if I helped enough people, then I could quit my job and this could be my full-time job. And that's what I did. I saw the vision for that in my head and I just went all in working to make that happen. So, you know, since I said I had a full-time job when I started coaching, I had to find other cracks in my day to work. So I would work a little bit before work, um, a little during my lunch break, and then after work as well. I was honestly like working as much as I could because I felt addicted to it. Like. I just felt alive from from this from helping others and, and doing this. I wanted to do it. I wanted to work as much as I could. And my income started to take off because of it. I made about fifteen hundred dollars in my first three months as a coach, which is pretty awesome. It's a part-time gig, helping myself, helping others. And that was kind of a sign, you know, it didn't take long to realize this being a coach was kind of that thing that I'd been looking for, something that I could do with my life and be passionate, excited about. So in less than a year of being a coach, working around my full-time job, I was able to step away from it to, so I could pursue coaching full-time um, and do something truly meaningful for me. 
And then about a year and a half after that, I had my son and I just feel like I saw God's plan unfolding even more because I was able to be a stay at home mom after he was born. I honestly could not have imagined having to leave him at only a few weeks old, you know, to go back to a job, especially one I didn't really like. And I'm really thankful I did the work now so I can be that stay at home mom. You know, I don't have to miss anything if I don't want to. But I also have something for me that I really love that works around my schedule, my son's schedule, but still pays our, all of our bills. So having something like this has been such a blessing to be home, but also take care of us. And I've been so blessed from this business. I love sharing it with other people. I love helping other women and mamas, you know, realize there's more to life than working to pay bills. And you don't have to um, dread going, to, you don't have to dread Monday mornings. You know, when I thought about my job and the anxiety that I felt every Monday morning, I knew I didn't want to do that for the next 30 years. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to work just to pay someone else to watch your kids, you know, so you can go to a job you don't like and do the nine to five grind just to make ends meet. Or a lot of moms that do choose to stay home and then they have to live off of a one income household, which I know is very hard in this day and age. Um, you know, they're having to live paycheck to paycheck and barely and making ends meet so they can be home with their kids. Like there's a third option. You don't have to do any of those. Um, so, Whatever reason you're here, whatever landed you on this site, if it's for financial freedom, if you want to travel more, if you want to work on getting some of your um, debt paid off, if you want to be your own boss, maybe you just want some own accountability for your own fitness journey. You know, you don't have to want to quit your job to be a coach. This could just be something you do on the side for fun or um, fun money or maybe to fund some other endeavors that you're interested in. I've also purchased three um, residential properties, rental properties since I've become a coach to um, create another revenue source for myself. So anyways, whatever it is, this opportunity can absolutely help. You don't need apps to do this. You don't need a social media following to get started. I had neither when I started. What you do need is a desire to either begin or if you've ever started, just continue on your health and fitness journey. And you've got to want to help other people. So go through the rest of these videos. Keep an open mind. I know a lot of people have uh, preconceived notions about this type of business and maybe some judgments about it. I know I did, but try to keep an open mind, go through this, set those aside for now, and just really take all of this in, okay?